Do you think that I need to bring some long drums when it will be 84 degrees? Probably not. All right, right, right. <laughs> Everything is making noises and I can't talk. So shut up, I'm recording. Jacob, I'm actually literally recording. It's recording. Shut up, dude. I have a hundred minutes of you just blabbering on. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Can you turn that off? That your iPad's making noises. Now Bella's taking a drink. <sighs> making videos is such a hard way. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted, oh my word. Every single time I ta start talking, someone starts making noise. Today, I wanted to test out self tanner See if you actually need to use a self-tanner mitt or if you can just use a glove. So this company, Rosa Self-Tanning, actually recommends using gloves over a mitt with their products. So I'm gonna be testing out, seeing if that's actually true or if a mitt will work better or what. So I'm going to be putting, using the glove on this arm and then the mitt on this arm and comparing. Let's get into it. Day, night, before. I'm just going to spray the self tanner on my arm. Let's do one, two, three, four, five sprays on both sides. I'm only going to do one coat so you can tell if there's any difference. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now let's do this arm with the glove. Five sprays. Oh. Five sprays was probably too many with just the glove. So clearly you can tell that the mitt soaks up the product. There's some bites at each other. Can't really tell any difference right now. So already I can tell with the glove, you're gonna use way less product because I definitely didn't need to put five. 12 hours later i washed it and they're dried this arm is with the glove and then this arm is with the mitt i don't really know <laughs> <laughs> if you can tell that much difference with like the color but with the application i did five pumps on each arms as you saw and this one seemed, it does actually, I think, look a little bit darker. This one definitely didn't need five pumps to cover the whole arm with the glove. And this one did. So now I want to see how many pumps it does take to cover my arm with the glove. I'm going to start out with uh, two. No, I'll just do one first. So 
Okay, I took two coat or two pumps to cover my forearm. And I didn't do my hands so you can tell the difference. Don't look at this. Now let's see how many pumps it takes with the mitt to get one coat. I'll start with two like the other one, the glove. The mitt like instantly soaked that up. I don't think I got a full coverage. Ah, so drippy. I think I got full coverage. That was three sprays. So it does take more sprays with the glove with this product. Okay, now we're gonna try it with a foam self tanner. Let's try it with the mitt first. We're gonna start with one squirt and see how that works. I'm gonna have to add another squirt to get the back. So I took two squirts with the foam to cover my whole arm. Now let's try with the glove, see how it works with the foam. I'm gonna start with one pump. Didn't even need a whole pump to cover my whole arm with this. So less than a pump of foam with the glove. And two pumps with the mitt. And I'm pretty sure the glove hand arm looks tanner than the mitt arm. I want to do one more test. I'm going to see how much self-tanner comes off of each thing to see how much self-tanner you're wasting. Okay, I put the same amount of water, but they're two different size containers because I didn't have two of the same size. But I wanted to do the same amount of water so you could compare how much self-tanner is in both, comes out from both. I don't even know if this is gonna work. And put this one in here. Oh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. So clearly the plastic glove, you're wasting way less self tanner than this. And I cleaned this before I used this. Holy cow. I think obviously the glove is better than the mitt. The only con to the glove compared to the mitt is the mitt doesn't take as long to blend, but probably because it's soaking up all the product. Wow. So there you have it. The glove wastes less self tanner than the self tanning mitt does. I'm shook by that watercolor. Ah! Okay, that's my experiment. Take it as you want. Honestly, you could just get like reusable plastic gloves and just use those instead of the mitt. And they'll probably be cheaper than the mitt too. I want to see how much the mitt was. I guess I spent $9 on the mitt. And let's see how much a reusable plastic glove would be. A pack of 10 reusable gloves is... $13.99, at least the first one that popped up on my Amazon. So, you could get 10 reusable gloves and save tanning product compared to the $9 mitt and use more self-tanning product. And 
I tested the foam and the spray and the glove worked fine for both. The only thing I didn't try was the lotion, but I don't really use lotion because you can't really see what you're doing. Lotion is like the last cell tanner I would purchase, personally. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to have really dark arms and white hands. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Pew, 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 pew. I say it enough, it gets in good.